One of the concerns with active shelving is that when the uh, levers are released that the push bar will come forward too quickly. This shouldn't happen and uh, to this end we've got two levers so both hands are involved to make sure that the hands can't be trapped uh, further into the machine uh, if, if a release happened when there was no product in front. So now we've actually produced a, a, an additional safety element which is going to be very quick and is going to go now. So we've, we've got this extra stop that, that jumps in if it goes too quickly. However, of course, we still want the pusher to push um, products nice and smoothly. So here I'm just going to push this in front um, to, to act as a weight. Uh, and then I'm going to do it again. So with anything in front, it comes through. But without anything in front, it stops. And just to show that again from a side view, it goes back. Then obviously the goods should go in, but let's say they don't for whatever reason. Bang, but it stops. So you could say, oh well that moving that box at that nice speed is, is all well and good, but how is it with, with things that, that are more like a, a whole section of crisps? Well here I've just used some envelopes so that you can still see what's going on. So now we're back to release it. And obviously it just takes up that little bit of air gap. And then, as I slowly start buying goods, it just slowly starts moving forward just as it would before. I hope that's clear. Exactly uh, why it stops isn't, isn't so important. Uh, the fact that it does is the important part, but the, the technology that, that does it is, is just uh, a little box in, in there, and that's just a prototype, but we can make it uh, similar on, on any of the units that we've made so far. Um, it's all quite simple, really. So we're looking forward to uh, maybe getting some product in and running now that we've introduced this additional feature. Thank you.